Let's talk about uh, workouts, swim workout and exercises. Um, what's um, one of the hardest exercises um, you can't forget? Um, probably working on breath control. We've been doing a lot of sitting on the wall for putting your head underwater for a certain amount of time and then pushing off and swimming either at 25 um, with no breath or as far as you can go in the 50 meter pool. Um, how long How long do you need to stay or how long do you have yeah. air? Yeah, so the other day we did 30 seconds on the wall and then a 25, no breath, and then 45 seconds on the you wall. You should try it, okay? No. Try 30, no, 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 only with the coach. <laughs> yeah, with someone It's really dangerous, you. it's really dangerous. Yeah. Um, but it's important then, for epoxy. Yeah, it's very important and it's a big mental challenge. It's not so physically draining, but mentally it's really hard. So um, after, after 30 seconds, you have air to swim a uh, 25 meter pool. Yeah, we ha I have some oxygen. <laughs> okay, and 50 meter pool? Um, so I've, I mean, I've done a 50 no breath, but with uh, oh, actually, yeah, the other day we did, I don't remember how long it was. It might have been 30 or 40 seconds and then a 50, no breath. Wow. Um, and it's actually harder for me to sit on the wall and do nothing because then I think my mind runs a little more <laughs> um, than it is to swim. Because like the other day when we did 30 seconds rest or sit underwater and then 25, the 25 swimming I sort of all of a sudden was like, oh, this isn't so bad. But when I was on the wall, I was freaking out the entire time. <laughs> and um, uh, do you breathe in the 50 for yourself? Not if it's a good race. Not if it's a good race. <laughs> Ideally, no. No. Um, I think just in general, that's another thing that I need to work on is my breathing quicker and getting my head down faster. And it really disrupts my stroke. So in a 50 free, when I don't need to breathe, it's better that I don't. Okay, no breathing for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another exercise. Yeah. Okay, give me another one uh, that it was very hard. Um, very hard? I don't know, one that I work on a lot. Um, it's not so difficult, but using your fists to work on entry and having a strong um, entry, you can really punch the water. Um, okay, show me your fist for a second. Let's see if it's strong. Okay. <laughs> Pretty um, strong. <laughs> yeah, that's one that I work on a lot with Leonid. Um, and you like it? Yeah, I mean, it, it helps me. It helps. And what's the exercise, maybe the funniest exercise uh, you did? Funniest? Well, I think the, we call it sandwich, um, swimming freestyle with butterfly kick or butterfly with freestyle kick or any combination where the arms and the legs aren't you, the normal, um, they aren't normal, um, those are always, feel strange to me, I guess just because it's not what I'm used to and it's not what I normally train. And your coordination is uh, pretty good yeah, right not, now. Not so good. Not so good. <laughs> It has to be. <laughs> if I throw a ball, can you catch it or? Yeah. Well, it depends how well you throw it or how hard you throw it. But yeah, I should be able to. Karen said, if I throw a ball, just do like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Only swimming. And um, uh, Athena today helps uh, women and helps uh, teenagers and little kids, girls to do sports. Uh, did you see one of the events for women? Yeah, um, I saw the end of an event that was in Tel Aviv. Um, unfortunately, we got out of practice and then drove over and it was already ending. Um, but it looked like a lot of fun. There are a lot of girls out there, which is, is really good for sports and women. So next time you're gonna talk and tell the girls uh, how you swam in the Olympics? Yeah, hopefully in <laughs> Hebrew. <laughs> okay, you have to work on it. <laughs> okay, next time Mimi Bro, okay? <laughs>